Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a webhook that notifies you when a boss is killed in your game. Um, I got this comment on a video a while back, so I thought why not just create it. Um, it's going to be a little bit different since we have to use a proxy server this time. Since uh, I made videos talking about how Discord blocked Roblox from using the webhooks. But it's still pretty simple. So I'm going to leave a link to this uh github repository in the description uh, you can also see how to do it in my uh, past video but the first thing you want to do is go here and scroll down a little bit until you see uh right here uh yeah right here get the handle or script from here to go ahead and click there and copy this script right here and then after you copy it, you want to go and put it in a module script and server script service and then name the module script proxy service just like this. Do not name it anything else. And then um, you want to create a Heroku account if you haven't already. And then down here, this button that says deploy to Heroku, you want to click that and this should pop up. You can name this app whatever you want. Uh, I'll just name it proxy service. Um, some names are going to be taken. So I'll just put a couple more E's so they're not taken. Uh, click deploy app. And then just let this run. All right. So once this is finished running, it should say your app was successfully deployed. I'm going to go ahead and click view and copy this URL up here. And then... Uh, just put it, just put it somewhere, uh, right here. I guess just put it somewhere safe. Now to get to the boss part, I'm just gonna use a dummy, uh, to, as the boss, and then I'll just scale it up a bit and name this boss one. And then we need to create our webhook. So you want to go to your server, go to server settings, integrations webhooks and then create one right here set it to the channel copy webhook url i already have one created boss killed so just copy that um you want to go ahead and put a script inside of the boss and put your url up there um as a variable and then we want to require this proxy server script right here so Local proxy service equals require game server script service proxy service just like that and then we're going to create the proxy so we want to do local proxy equals proxy service new and then this is where our link and access key comes into play so you want to take this link put it in the first string like that and then add a comma and then another one and then back to Heroku you want to click manage app and then you want to click settings you want to scroll down to reveal config vars and then you want to copy your access key right here and then put this in the second string and then that's your proxy created now we want to create um the message that um is going to send to the webhook so we can do this by creating a simple table. Um, create a table called data. And then we want to put an array and then name this um, content equals. And then this is where we put the message. So I want to put script.parent.name, which is going to be the name of the boss or the dummy. Concatenate that has been killed so once we kill the boss it'll say boss one has been killed and then we want to go ahead and encode this using http server so we can just do local final data equals um game get service http service uh json encode data like that and then we want to create a function 
to check when this boss is killed. So we can simply just do that by doing script.parent.humanoid.died function. And then anything in here will run when this boss dies. So let's just do proxy post and then um, URL first, which is, you know, our webhook URL and then final data. So once the boss dies, it'll post to the webhook uh, the words um, boss one has been killed. Um, I found this gun in the toolbox. You guys can just use anything to kill it. But I'm just going to use this gun. So we have the boss here. I'm going to go ahead and just shoot it. And then go here. And then you can see it says boss one has been killed. Um, we can do this for multiple bosses too. So like if we create, you know, uh, let's create two more. Let's name this one boss two. And then name this one boss three. We can make it show when both of these or all the bosses are killed. So let's go ahead and test this out. So boss one says boss one has been killed. Boss two has been killed. And the boss three has been killed. Um, Now I'm going to go ahead and warn you right now. Don't do this for like bosses or that are going to be killed like a lot, like commonly killed. Do this for like something that's rarely killed and like so your webhook isn't getting spammed like every second that someone killed a boss. Um, but yeah, this is probably going to be the the last webhook video I make in a while. Um, just comment down in the comments uh, any suggestions you guys have. And yeah.